Next on First News at 4, eco-consumer Tom Watson is here to show us how to harness the sun's energy without breaking the bank. We'll be right back. Can Seattle really be a hotbed of solar energy? It may seem like a stretch, but solar power works surprisingly well here in the Northwest. And King County eco-consumer Tom Watson is back with some innovative examples. And Tom, I know you have a solar cooking expert, Linda Stein, with you today. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Yes, isn't this exciting? We've this, had a pretty sunny stretch for we Seattle. Had good timing because it didn't look like this earlier this summer. Um, let's yeah. start with the solar cooking, Linda. What is this contraption? Well, this is a solar oven. It's called a fun panel mm -hmm. that I made from a class that Sustainable Northeast Seattle taught. And it's made out of very simple materials, just cardboard, tin foil, and glue. That's it? Yes. And it reflects the rays of the sun onto the food. And so what are good examples of what you can cook in this? You could actually cook anything in this that you cook in a conventional oven. It takes about twice as long. OK. But it, ne it retains the nutrients. and. It just is wonderful. So rice, vegetables, what have you, it can all be done. Um, how easy was this to put together? You can make one of these just with a few dollars or found materials and within less than two hours you can have yourself an oven. So the only thing to keep in mind is it takes a little bit longer. But if you don't want to turn on your oven and you want to be more green, go to the backyard and set this up, I guess. Yes. I consider it a, a viable alternative to conventional cooking. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed doing it. The first time I did it, I put a cornbread batter in oh, this uh -huh. uh, glass dish that I just had at home. And you put it inside an oven bag and set it on top of a inverted bowl. Mm -hmm. And then amazingly within not that long it'll get so hot you can't touch it with your hand it's amazing oh wow and within an hour and a half the first time i did it i was eating hot cornbread cooked from the sun <laughs> on my desk Isn't that fantastic? that's a great example wow yeah, were you was, surprised that it worked were you a skeptic before you actually uh, did it a little uh -huh. bit what but, but it works you heard yes. it right here. And it has great potential for helping people around the world in developing countries mm -hmm. instead of instead of pollution from wood fires and having to buy fuel, they can use these and Got make it. them so there's a whole solar cooking movement internationally that Linda's part of too. Thank you so much, Linda. Thanks. And then moving on to the next example, Tom, what do we have here? So this is from a company in Washington State called, um, in Marysville, Silicon Energy. So people don't realize that solar panels are made right here in Washington by several companies. A local solar installer, uh, Puget Sound Solar, um, gave this to us as an example. So this is a mini version. Normally the solar panel, this is called a glass-on-glass -glass solar panel, mm -hmm. very durable. Knock on it, it, it um, is almost indestructible. They will be about four foot by four foot and they will be on your roof and they will bring in the, the solar power and heat your, not, not just heat, but provide wow. enough electricity for your home. Hundreds of people in Seattle are using solar I've energy now. I've driven by some of them. It's fascinating and it's made right here. Um, this right here is a skylight. Is that this right? Let is me a move this. Okay. skylight and it's called the solar tube. Uh -huh. This is from a store called Green Depot. It used to be Eco House. And so you have this on your roof, your slanted roof, and you can imagine that. And the sun comes in and then there are reflectors. And then this part is, it can be stretched out and it goes through the roof joists. You have it inside your attic and there's reflectors. And then here, this is this would be on your bathroom ceiling. Oh, right here, okay. Or, or in a hallway or in the kitchen and it diffuses the light. So with the reflectors, it sends light. One of your, one of your folks here said they have one and they just love it. It's, it is really a cool thing. It's, a, it's passive solar. It's uh -huh. no moving parts or anything or electricity. Right. It's just sending the sun into your room. Wow, okay. And, and this is the very last one. We're running out yes. of time, but we want to get to this. This is our camping so shower, okay. so I will, I will hold this up. It's on the tripod. Uh -huh. So you're out in the middle of nowhere, and you really miss those hot showers. And you need to take a shower. You can get this. This is a company, um, a local company, and, and, then, and it's sold at um, REI, uh -huh. Seattle Sports. And in about three hours, you can heat the water and then get an eight-minute shower. There you go. I, don't, okay. <laughs> I wanted to do it and demonstrate it. but <laughs> There you go. You don't have to jump into the river. Tom, thank you so much for being here. Love it when you visit. Linda, pleasure meeting you. Nice thank you so you. much. For more information on all of these ideas, it's on our website. Just go to ComoNews.com and click on Como4TV. A kind of light can also be used to make water.